In the last video where we were talking about user types being either standard or administrator, one thing I did not talk about was the UAC or the user account control and the relationship of the user's type to UAC. When a user, any user, is logged on, even if that user is an administrator, they are always running as a standard user. So you are not an administrator even if you're an administrator until the UAC comes on the user account control and prompts you to elevate your privileges for some particular action. So to demonstrate that I have here a virtual machine and I have two accounts on here one named Charlene and one named Charlie. Uh, right now I'm on the Charlene screen and Charlene is an administrator Charlie is not. So as an administrator, Charlene is just going to go over here and launch an installer. And let's see what we get. We should get a UAC window. Here it is. It says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? And we simply have yes or no. If I say yes, Charlene will elevate to an administrator and it should install it just fine. And sure enough, there goes the installer. Well, let's switch over now to Charlie. Switch user. We'll choose Charlie. Sign in. Now, Charlie has something he wants to install. Let's go ahead and click the setup. And now it says, do you want to make uh, allow this app to make changes to your device? To continue, enter an admin username and password. See, Charlie is not an admin. And because he is not an admin, he has to give the credentials of an admin, such as Charlene. So uh, I do not have a password here for Charlene, so I can go ahead and click yes, and it should go ahead and in install the software with admin privileges now. So you can see that it works a little bit differently depending on whether you are an admin or not. 